This is what most people think of when they think of women in porn. But these days, women aren't just in front of the camera. They're behind the scenes at all levels, running studios, directing films, and starting the next generation of adult companies, changing the face and the products of what used to be a business run by men for men. Hey, Stormy, it's Joy. Joy King is a vice president of special projects at Wicked Pictures. She started in porn 24 years ago. But wasn't the... the porn boss isn't the stereotype that he's <laughs> some guy smoking a cigar with the gold right. chain and the hairy <laughs> chest and he's got the shirt halfway open. Right. Well, I think that was a whole different time. And I think that th back then especially you had um, some real powerful men running the business. And there were guys like that. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like that didn't exist. By the late 1980s, the video cassette dramatically changes porn's business model. Porn could be enjoyed at home now by couples. Then the rise of the DVD and internet in the 1990s expanded porn's audience even more. And around this time, women started entering the business. Pornography has been around since the time of the caveman. It's not going anywhere. It's a $13 billion industry where the bottom line has always been sex sells. But it's the very same technology that brought it riches, bringing the business of skin to its knees. This is why people are going out of business. Melissa Lee reports, porn, business of pleasure, revealed. 9 Eastern CNBC Tonight.